the only one of us here who was being handed chances galore and I cannot stand and allow these fans to applaud while the past is ignored. Today's different. Abe Simpson, you're leaving before you even had a chance to hang your hat on the door. <laughs> Since you made your bed, they expect to see you folding in the corner. Now fuck that, I'll be posted at the corner, ready to catch you on an evening shift. Let an eagle sing. Turn up, it's the Hotel California. <laughs> D. Night club in Manchester for match day one. If you're with us, make some noise. <laughs> match day one is sponsored by Batmate. Do go check them down in the links below. But I am very excited to announce this battle. It's one I've been waiting for for over a year now. But two champions going head to head against each other on the left hand side, making his PB return after a long time out from Plymouth. Former PB champion, make some noise for unanimous. <laughs> Representing shots, the current UK champion Manchester made some noise for Bizzle. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. This is a free round battle. Shaq, City first man, Joe Moore. Bizzle won the flip. He said, You know, starting round one. Let's go, go, go. Yo! Go, go! I know I made a sacrifice, but fam, tonight a goat's making all of your throats sing. I make him listen when a demon talks. I could use a Ouija board to expose him. Cause Aaron, the reward you've been holding is what you're storing your soul in. Now there's a sellout on stage like when Thesaurus was choking. Your, story, your story's boring and slow. You're unexceptional and nothing new. You're only here cause when the boss is sick, they get the deputy to cover you. Which reminds me, didn't real deal forget his shit and stutter too, so you don't get no credit for the W. But it is the first time I've seen a teacher get a lecture from a substitute. My neck was, yeah, my neck was in another, my neck was in another noose. They never should have cut me loose, cause now I'm tightening in my grip. If you wanna win tonight, you'll have to prize it from my fist. Cause you know a shotgun wedding? When a man's forced at weapon point to marry a bride he didn't pick? What a reason I liken it to this? It's cause it was a shotty that made me give up my title to this bitch. Yeah. Cause really I'm the king of this Presidential in this field But Bizzo, you can be Donald Trump Cause you spent most of your career getting your wig peeled But I ain't claiming your scalp, no I'm trying to take your fucking head off and wave it around, bro Now he's got help me Written all across his face like he's Al Snow I'm laying him out cold Yeah, now he's got help me Written all across his face like he's Al Snow I'm laying him out cold And taking the crown home You invaded my house So now you can just make yourself a space in the alcove Or stay in your mouse hole But nah, this was a fame in a cloud hole That's why he's always outside Cause he knows his name isn't household and bro, you only win when your opponents didn't write their raps. It's easy to make it look like you've been controlling the ring when nobody's been fighting back. 
while I brought a guillotine to the ring with me. I'm soaking the entire map. Fuck his undefeated streak. I don't believe that he's Khabib just because he had Connor choking in a title match. I don't give a fuck how the consensus stands with the demographic. When I wrote this, I had a weapon brandished. You worked your whole career for this moment. Now you're finally getting the pen, but it's a severance package. You're getting axed. You're getting axed. Cause that's the only time that I'll bury hatchets. Get cut by a Stanley. You're getting axed. Cause that's the only time that I'll bury hatchets. Get cut by a Stanley like Full Metal Jacket. I know before we were set to class, but I left him stranded. And that's why when they put that belt on his head, <laughs> and that's why when they put that belt on your chest you still felt like you left empty handed cause in his soul Bizzo knows till he proves he can beat me that shit is forever plastic I mean they say I just gave you the title right so I guess this is the part where I let him have it I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking extensive damage have him laid up for a couple weeks I mean he's good for the breakdown so let's see how he does with recovery cause I am gonna make sure that they forget you today like Eminem forgot D12 on the shelf and all the shady characters that roll with beers are getting fucking dropped as well cause it's hunting season cause it's hunting season but I don't need a hunting knife though cause if this shark tries getting up in my boat I'm cutting through the water with a butterfly stroke and luring the rest of the sharks to the scene with the blood on my clothes I'll open, I'll open up your big chest like a storage freezer I've got an ice cold heart like an organ dealer remember you said Remember you said, I'm an alien upstairs. We'll break the glass. Remember you said, I'm an alien upstairs. Well, great, because I'm making a cut there. And the blade gets stuck as I force it deeper. And the alien's coming out this bitch like he's a Gordy Weaver. <laughs> Xenomorphic creature set to haunt your dreams for the rest of your life. Whenever you hear the word unanimous after this, you'll remember tonight. You just don't have the same depth, and I'm apex predator like. So, how's he gonna look like a shark when I got his head on a pike? <laughs> After two no shows and being asked to prep again for this, I know fans expected my answer to surely be a no. But I need to start this off with a confession. There's something about me I feel this audience should know. I have OCD and it gives me anxiety. I just want to tell you all that now before we re-oppose because I wanted to see Quill but couldn't start that chapter till I bring this story to a close. I don't care how the saying goes, today I am winning both the battle and war. Yunnan might be back in the north but don't let that distract from the norm that the fact we have to act as though we like this man is a chore. The only one of us here who has been handed chances galore and I cannot stand and allow these fans to applaud while the past is ignored. Today's different. Abe Simpson, you're leaving before you even had a chance to hang your hat on the door. How can, a, how, can a man, how can a man ever learn his lesson if he convinces himself that it hasn't been taught and addict to the habit of getting lost inside his own character's thoughts and that is his flaw. If you hadn't battered matter you wouldn't matter at all because your whole image is a mockery like a caricature. You want to know why it's been years since you travelled to battle on international shores? Because there isn't an airline around that will ever allow you to have this much baggage on board. <laughs> I'm sorry bro, but today your doom is pending. I'm taking a wrecking ball to the foundations that you cemented. Claims he has a lot left in the tank, and after everything, I really do commend it. But Thomas, you need so much more to get back on track than the fact you have a useful engine. If you really think Yunan, if you really think Yunan is the one to be, you realise how stupid you've got to be? Yeah, he bested Raptor and Rex, both out with a prime, but now he wants two rock with me. So, so what you can say to Bobby what's a Rex to Godzilla and how he'll be leaving like a Megalodon bit you, but the water's a dark and shark city and you're out of your depth, unknowingly paddling next to one bigger. You should have known from the intro alone that you've messed with the wrong killer and that blood will stream on the lens when you see the silhouette of Bond's figure. You had your choice. <laughs> See the silhouette of Bond's figure, you had your chance to dead this when my rep was a lot smaller. Now you're in hot water. I went from below you to phone booth. Yeah, you're dealing with a shot caller, and now this battle's below me. And now this battle's below me. 
Cause you have nowhere else to go Too many bridges burn with low reach The tomfoolery doesn't work Only has Patrick left as the lone sheep of Bo Peep That's how I know that the future of bro's bleak Cause we're tired of this face He's getting old and the only steps that follow are crow's feet <laughs> I know him far too well So can't expect him to try and keep his bars loyal That's why I'm listening hard Standing here with my arm coiled Ready to rock a monstrosity outside a building Like a gargoyle <laughs> 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 Gets home and coked up before entering beast mode Gets home and coked up before entering beast mode It's no apologies till he comes around And the weight of regret rests on his head in the kilos Don't try and make amends with me if you do the same And attempt to remain as a friend or amigo Cause the moment you DMT You're letting me know that's the death of your ego <laughs> Aaron Bond's a manager at the Marriott. <laughs> Bro, I got you on the ropes, this is a slaughter. Like, yo, make sure them white sheets been appropriately ordered. <laughs> Cause now a hotel manager getting laid to rest. And since you made your bed, they expect to see you folding in the cot. Now fuck that, I'll be posted at the corner. Ready to catch you on an evening shift. Let an eagle sing. Turn up, it's the Hotel California. Well, that's the <laughs> When I say I bash your brains right the fuck in, ain't a quote I took. Cause all they're gonna find is your body under a pile of broken wood with a footnote next to your frozen foot that reads I'm king. Cause when it comes to shining, I wrote the book. You work in a hotel and get overlooked. I'll turn that hotel to the overlook. I'll turn that hotel to the overlook. Have the manager running scared. Cause if I'm giving him any kind of bag, it's attached to a stomach tear. He thought, he thought just cause I got some baggage that I'd be unprepared until I'm dragging my luggage there putting Aaron in a bag then making him carry it up the stairs <laughs> is his job description just like how he jots his written cause he's getting them bored rapping like he got access to every floor but now I'm feeling like it's me that's a manager at a leisure resort cause I dropped a couple cards and it gave you the green light to get through the door and I admit and I admit you've maintained your position by displaying strength I'm only really here to make amends because I became who they resent. You put in more hard work than me. My opportunities came and went. And that's probably why I took two years away, come back and I'm still the main event. And that's because I've been mastering, yeah. And that's because I've been mastering this for half my existence and was alone for the ride. I was facing titans and slaying giants whilst you slowly declined. We're polar opposites. You've never been this cold in your life, but you're frozen in time. That's why you're mid thirties and you've only just broken the ice. You need to open your eyes. I dispose of him like a rope to a fly. He only holds on to this because on his own he would die. So now he's latched on to Briggs and stays close to his side because Aaron's like a parasite he needs the host to survive yeah with all that with all that with all that, with all that. They stuck a knife in my back, so I picked the scab. Bro, no one gives a fuck. Got me up here beating a dead horse like giddy up. But now he's eating at the king's table. So you can really watch as I spill his guts. Cause I'm the fork in the road that biz is stuck in the middle of. And it's because it's always the same shit. Name flips, and you claiming your importance. You couldn't even find anything new to say when they gave you a thesaurus. Bro, I'm painting them a portrait. Bro, I'm painting them a portrait. Bro, I'm painting them a portrait. You etch your sketch of ours. Then exhibit that trash like it's contemporary art. Think as you battled Oppa, you played a legendary part. Well then say less, cause I've got a list of ops longer than the NHS, a pile of bodies. <laughs> Longer than the NHS, a pile of bodies, and that shit stacked high. Blood on my hands like gang signs, and now I'm gonna show how I respect this bro. Blood on my hands like gang signs, and now I'm gonna show how I respect his pronouns when I put a slash in that guy.
but watch Aaron gaslight like it didn't even hurt him when really this is gonna live and breathe in his deeper workings I see the self-blaming victim in him even though it sits beneath the surface because he got that belt for nothing but he's still convinced that he deserved it bro bro I was never gonna stand here and list his characteristics because that would imply that they existed we can put, we can put, all, we can put all this work into a champion's image just to get outshined by rappers that are naturally gifted and you can try and dress it up by being fashion addictive but you don't have to and you can turn rags into riches I'll play the sideline and watch you slowly turn your brand to a gimmick cause you've been in your bag but didn't pack a personality in it bro, bro you only here cause they need a name to chant content wise your page is blank bro I'm trying to break my hand Bro, I'm trying to break my hand. Only time I take an orthodox approach is when I'm changing stance. Soon as me and Bob was locked, I started chopping logs in the training camp because I'm cutting edge. And the way you write punches lets us know you're the paper champ. So, so fuck your formulaic rants. You just think you're nice as fuck. But I'll be the one to say it to you, bitch. Your writing sucks. So I hope for your sake, for this battle, it's been tightened up. Because they say the Brits are too polite and they're right because you don't get criticized enough. And I'm no trick. And I'm no critic, but our belt don't fit him So you know I had to poke some holes in it Cause I'm way too cold with it Jeffrey Dahmer storing seven parts I'm bone chilling And in the UK, and in the UK There's no name bigger Fuck your Mount Rushmore I'm a stone-faced killer Let's not play pretend this should have happened a year ago, for the sake of them. I'm just glad it's taking place today, cause truth be told, my patience went. If you'd have said your head wasn't in the right frame for a third time for this main event, I was planning strikes. I couldn't care less if you were going off the rails again. See, I suffer, see, I suffer to you, now the difference is my head is strong compared to you. I excel in every fashion. Check the impression that's been left from Bond, so he can say you couldn't walk a mile in my shoes. He's right. I wouldn't be seen dead in Tom's. Why? <laughs> Why? He's bro sporadic. If only he chose to spend most of his focus rapping. He's so erratic, overacting on his socials as he holds the static. We draw a line and within a day he's going past it. And it isn't long till someone wants to grab him by the throat and slap him. So he has to backtrack like, yo, it was just a joke so he doesn't go dramatic. You'd think to cope with a stress disorder you'd stop making every post dramatic. There is so much, there is so much, there is so much more to life than well thought of rhymes and a loud delivery and if I were you, I'd trade it all in for, I don't know, an ounce of dignity? <laughs> His initials are TV. You think he'd know how to display a sound or imagery instead? He's acting like an amateur. Instead, he's acting like an amateur on his social since the man lacks accountability. Listen to me. You attract controversy because of what you put in writing and wonders why he can't shake the drama that always seems to come beside him. But you can tell in his rounds, he sounds like he's up for violence till he oversteps the mark and then suddenly this cunt's in hiding. All this talking like a peaky blinder, disgusting torture, so much cutting, slicing. Yeah, we watch him come out Tommy Shell before confronted, then it's no fucking fighting. <laughs> <laughs> None of this would have happened if you kept your head down and were acting discreetly, allowing all these men online and in battles embarrassing weekly. You're behaving like Tyson's little bro, Tommy, but you're a lover, not a fighter, and it's apparent to CG. Yeah, he shows a little fury when he's in the ring, but you just can't escape from reality TV. <laughs> It's the same old story. It's the same old story. It's the same old story. Goes home to be consoled by all his little friends, then announces he's coming back better than ever, and thanks his team for reassuring him at length. Stands on stage where we applaud him for his strength. How his head's been in the worst state. Man, every battle's like 50 first days. I'm thinking, surely they aren't going to fall for him again. It's a gimmick of his. It's a gimmick of his to cause all the drama in our scene just so he can be the villain of this. Don't you see the coincidence? Coincidences? Every time this turns to a pantomime, Tom is always in the middle of it. It's like you let these people trigger you. It's like you let these people trigger you without them needing to try to fall out, apologize before repeating the cycle. You've watched a YouTube video lately, right? 
I can't keep count of how many people dislike you. It's becoming long. It's becoming long. Upsetting all these league's fans and battlers with slander till the love is gone. He says he's more hungry than he's ever been. And in most cases, that's a good thing, Tom. But with you, it's different. Because you're at a stage today, you have no idea where the next plate is coming from. <laughs>
A botch, a scandal, a scheme A finger painting that's been displayed as a spotless gallery piece A dog attached to a lead that follows Adam's regime Just a poster child printed up by the propaganda machine And me? I had to evacuate the show and watch him put Aaron's name on animated posters Well fuck it, if I have to play the ghost then I'ma come back as a phantom that assassinates composers This is where the mask you make gets broken And I'll leave half your face exposed Cause you've been out here having a ball But now the masquerade is over yeah. I know there's fans who still doubt they'll see my name as a ghost and that match with all history means I had zero desire to be making this close. Until you die, I would never feel right taking my space on the throne. They idolise you, Tommy. Some people are placing their votes on that basis alone. It's why I have to sit him down, kind of like a British pound. Yeah, this death will have everybody changing their notes. Because whether, whether it was planned or not, the moment Yunnan was matched with Bond for match day one, it was me they'd taken each and every ounce of the advantage from, because if I win, it's expected. These fans are used to seeing my hand aloft, but if he wins, it's like I never should have had this belt, and the rest of the year for the champ is long. So they've given you me for your return, so he can prove he's back where this man belongs. Unaware you're getting lapped from your own home to show you are standing with the captain, Tom. It's your fault. <laughs> It's your fault this isn't for the belt, not mine. To be champ again, you knew what it entailed. We could have had a title match for the ages, but Tom cruised off to do his own stunts, and mission failed. Now he's here, now he's here, now he's here through sheer jealousy, because he knows he could have had it all if he didn't bail, and instead had to watch Bon Voyage, so I should go across his boat with a, so I should go across his boat with a ball to show how this ship has sailed. But in a way, but in a way, it is kind of like you're still the champion of this very league. I mean, I beat the king of the dot and I battle champion in matches before which they'd never seen. Won my title match convincingly and three awards last year. There is not a soul that's ahead of me. The hardest working, most consistent. Basically, I'm more unanimous than you've ever been. <laughs> It's me, bro, the real champion that this scene needs. So I have no choice but to embarrass him. After this, you can thank the staff for keeping you away from the belt like the Samaritans, because believe me. Because believe, believe me, because believe me, it is so much more than rap than the title of champ displays and having you at the forefront is two steps backwards and that is a bad exchange. There's no, there's no doubting when he returns from an absence that the class remains, but the absence is the problem and it's always down to his erratic ways, how you love to play the victim and diagnose yourself with a damaged brain, then enter the ring and attack a man using the most personal angles that you can obtain, makes a scene and gets banned again, crazy, TV causes static and has no choice but to channel change. The talent you have is undeniable, but it is utilised in the saddest way. I mean, the day I received the belt, I was told it needed resizing and the leather strap replaced. When the, when the guy, when I asked why, the guy said, whoever had it last, well, it was such a massive waste. <laughs> I was told it needed resizing and the leather strap replaced. When I asked why, the guy said, whoever had it last well, it was such a massive race. That's why I don't care if he's one of your goats or favourites. The man just isn't different. A cancer in remission. We haven't seen any growth in ages. The, let, your eyes just, let your eyes just focus. He's never been more than mediocre, face it. KSI and Logan. I've never seen a prime so overrated. Whereas they're, whereas they're starting to love me, bro. So even if this was for the bell, you'd still be getting done 3-0. Because the only time you'll see Bond ever lose his belt is when he's wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're back on match day one. Battle was crazy, straight argument straight to Bizzle. Um, the Yunnan second round was out of this world. The whole battle was potatoes, amazing battle. Yeah, Bizzle took it. Probably in three, maybe two of them three, I think. Really, that was one of the best battles I've seen live. Um, it was close, but Yunnan second, he left Earth, so. 
yeah, I'm, I'm sadly, not even sadly, because both of them were dope. There's no losers in the kind of battle like that, but in my opinion, I give it to Yunnan. And yeah, there's no losers. The audience won. No one lost. The audience won. I won for watching that live. Yunnan, yeah. Yo, Sam Hype's back judging Yunnan versus Biz or Bond. This was a sick battle for everyone. For me personally, as a fan, I think everybody won. It was fucking sick. Yunnan in his second was incredible. He does exactly the same thing he does. He's fired every single round, every single time. But for me, more consistent, more entertaining. I have to give it 2-1 to Biz or Bond. For me, Biz or took that battle. But I would not be mad if someone said that Yunnan won. I think in the end, we all won. That was a sick battle, but for me, 2-1 Bizzle, what a fucking battle, man.